than 700 cars on display at the London Classic Car Show in the XL Centre. Here is our top five. Let's start off with an art attack. Hi everyone, we're here at the London Classic Car Show and we've got friend of the show, Ian Cook's creation here of a classic mini. Oh, me. You, uh, Hi, hello Ian. Hi, and, yeah. um, so for those who don't know about Ian, Ian is an artist and he paints beautiful pictures using radio controlled cars, tires and anything else you can get his hands on, anything but paintbrushes. I Hi, get Ian. hands on you. Yes. <laughs> so Ian, tell us all about this. It's a mini. It is a mini, not and just I, any And mini. I got my hands on it. You did? I did, and I painted it. Brilliant. And uh, it was all done with the cars. Yep. Uh, we had five hours to, wow. to create it, and this is what I did. Wow, it's amazing. Yeah. Thank you very much. Very apt with it being the mini 60th birthday this year. 60th anniversary mini, 50th anniversary of the Italian job. Wow. Um, yeah, so I think some of the artworks this year are definitely going to be mini shaped. I would say I'd so. I'd say. Yeah. I would say so. I guess, mild guess. Yeah. You know. Top man. But uh, no, yeah, it's been good. Yeah, got, got the London skyline in there. Got the 60th anniversary, you know, kind of uh, logo as it were. Yep. And then got some of the cars that actually painted it Brilliant. on there as well. And then got the union flag on the on the roof. Yep. Uh, some more cars inside, and yeah, it was a fun old project. Brilliant. What's this car going to be used for afterwards? Are we going to make it road legal, drive it around, a bit of publicity? If I, if it could move, we would move it. Okay. It's not very happy. Ah. Uh, it looks lovely. Typical mini. And Un underneath here, not so happy. Okay. The lights work. Brilliant. There okay. we are. That's a good start, isn't it? It is a good. So you can just flash start. at people. Um, the plan is to actually seal it so it, it, it's yep. protected okay. and then we're going to, um, well not a we, the show, yep. we'll use it as a publicity vehicle. Brilliant, there we are. So, yeah. Well look, thank you ever so much and we wish you the best with the show, okay? Pleasure, thank you. Thank you Ian. The Mini is celebrating 60 years, but French Mark Citroen is celebrating 100 years with a parade on the Grand Avenue and a huge stand, where we found this beauty. We're, we're here at the London Classic Car Show and we are with one of our top five cars of the show. We have chosen this beautiful Citroen SM from 1972 and I'm pleased to say we have the owner of this car with us, uh, Mr John Francis. Good morning. Hello John. So John, can you um, tell us a little bit about the car? Um, it's obviously it's a, it's, um, it's a striking car and it's one of the most unusual Citroëns made. Well, it's a car that was imported from Foggia in southern Italy in 2005. Mm -hmm. Two guys in, in Aylesbury were bringing cars in, uh, SMs uh, mostly. Wow. And uh, because it came from southern Italy, there was no rust on it. Wow. Which is a big plus point with these, this model or any model in those days. When I saw the car, it looked very good. It was a non-standard color. Um, the interior was a very saggy velour, mustard velour. Okay. Um, I've sorted that out, but everything else inside the car, all the shut lines and everything, were very, very good. So I bought the car. No history, any Italian classic without history, you yeah. have to do the mechanicals. Yeah. So the mechanics were done by a guy called Dave Ashworth in Blackpool, who's a specialist okay. uh, on SM. It's in a Fiat metallic color, okay. right? And I like the color so much, I, I, kept, I kept the color. Okay. And it is quite striking. It's the only one I've seen in this colour. It is, because yeah. they're normally in a, in a Citroen Vert. It's the, it's yeah. Slightly different to this, but it just hasn't got the, the, no. the zap that this has got. Got you. Yeah. Oh, well, look, well, thank you ever so much for telling us about yeah. it. Yeah. We're pleased to say it's in our top five cars of the show. Well, thank you very and, much. And uh, I hope yeah. you keep it for a long time. <laughs> Okay, so this next car is a little bit different. This is the Jaguar CX-75, and this car actually never made it into production. What a beautiful car it is. Just look at it. It's absolutely stunning. This is one of Ian Callum's most brilliant designs, and you may, by listening to the music, may uh, think it was gonna be an Aston Martin. 
but this car featured alongside 007 when James Bond's adversary, Mr. Hinks, got to drive one in Spectre. It was developed by Williams Advanced Engineering and it's a plug-in hybrid with a 1.6 engine and electric motors. Undoubtedly the best car Jaguar never built. Well that woke everyone up. This is Ayrton Senna's Tolman TG184 and here's owner Alistair Davidson to tell us all about it. It's a car from 1984, uh, designed by Rory Burns. So it was his um, third Formula One car he'd ever built. And then it was raced by um, Ayrton Senna and Johnny Giacotto in the 1984 World Championship. It's got a, a Hart engine, which is 1.5 litres turbocharged. But the difference is there's no head on it, so it's a monoblock so you can't blow a head gasket, but you can blow the engine. And in 1984, in testing and in the racing, they used 62 engines. It's original engine, all original. The only thing we've changed is the electronics. So we've gone to a more modern electronics so we can uh, alter things and keep it safe because we really can't afford to blow it up. I uh, bought it in an auction. I, I sort of knew it could have been Senna's car, so. And there's lots of bits on the car with Senna's name on it and uh, things like that. So uh, Pat Simmons has had a look at the car and he said it's one of the cars that Senna drove. And we got photos of him in the car. We had to completely do everything to it, yeah. Engine rebuild, gearbox and all the suspension, new bushes, everything. It took us about three years, four years. Um, and now we get invited all over the world. Um, Ayrton Senna's sister, Sylvia, this is her favourite car. So when they have events on, they phone us up and they'll ship the car out all over the world and pay for us to go with it, which is quite nice. Been to Japan, Azerbaijan, um, Barbados. I raced Lewis Hamilton in this car two years ago. Three lap race and Lewis beat me. This is the only running car. We should put it in a museum and probably never ever run it again, but it's the original paintwork. We haven't put any paint on it. We, have, we could paint it, it's a bit untidy in places, but if we alter it, then it's not gonna be as it was. We can make it look brand new, but it won't be original, will it? We're, we're going to run it as much as we can. Uh, we did 10 events one year all around the world, so um, we might as well just have a bit of fun. We don't do it, you know, professionally. We're only just part-time. We all just do it. So. But it was three and a half hour. It works we're here now with a very, very special car. Uh, we're here with a Mercedes. Uh, it's a 1969 280 SL Pagoda. And with me is Joseph Sullivan, the CEO of Hemmels, who have built this incredible car. Joseph, how are you? Good, very well, thank you. Good morning. Good. So, Joseph, um, tell us a little bit about the car and, uh, and the process, the lengths that you guys go to. Okay, so we sourced this vehicle uh, probably two years ago now. Um, the client has come and inspected it to their exact specification in right. terms of colour and yep. engine performance. And it's taken us 52 weeks to, um, to get to this level here. Wow. Okay, well, I mean, it's an absolute credit to you. The actual build quality and the attention to detail is something else, and this is why it's made it into our top five cars of the show. You must be very proud of the work you do. Absolutely, very proud of the work that we do, very proud of all the 50 tradesmen that we have back in the back in Cardiff at our production facility. Okay, if you hear that, made in Wales, everyone. And um, so how is the, how's things looking for the future? Is there, a lot of, is there a lot of interest for what you guys are doing? Absolutely. I mean, we're uh, currently delivering to um, every continent in the world. Wow. Um, so we've got lots of cars going uh, all over on a, monthly, on a monthly basis. Okay. Absolutely amazing to have that kind of skill set and engineering in South Wales, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, we're very lucky in South Wales that we've got that um, level of craftsmanship. Yeah. Um, and uh, we're constantly developing it with a, an apprenticeship scheme at the moment so that oh, we can continue to do so. Oh, amazing. Oh, okay, well look, um, congratulations. Uh, it's in the top five cars of, a, of the show and I mean, ladies and gentlemen, it is one of the most beautiful cars that we've seen here so it's a real credit to Hemmels and Cardiff. Thank you. Okay, well that's our top five cars of the London Classic Car Show. Tell me, what's your favourite? I'm going to let you guys choose the winner. So if you can leave your uh, comments in the box below and uh, the person with the most likes is going to win it. Okay, so um, I think that's a wrap for us at the London Classic Car Show. And I found mine I'm taking home. And uh, I look forward to seeing you all next time. Cheers. Okay, everyone, thanks ever so much for watching. If you've enjoyed these videos, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel 
uh, and by clicking on the link below and make sure to tick the bell as well. Okay, thanks everyone. See you again.